Good morning and happy Wednesday. This is Jolene with the Jewel Design, and I thought I'd give you guys, after yesterday's little, um, here's what I've done so far on the autumn side, I would go over the Christmas and holiday items that I have going right now, um, both in my Etsy shop, what I've created, what I've got plans for, and what is just newly released today. So you're getting sort of a double on this one. You get to see what I've been doing. You get a preview of what's out there. Um, that just came out. So as we talked about yesterday, um, we got the 90% done of the autumn kit. A lot of it, what I have left over is, is sewing things down and creating a more solid kit. And when I think it's all done and I don't have to, for ever, any reason, take this cover off to finesse anything else, I will then sort of snap it down with the Tim Holtz uh, corner angles. And I have a really pretty, I don't know, like a dark gold, an antique gold, and a pretty brown. So I got to decide which one I want to do. But um, Tim Holtz has these great corner book covers um, that we use when we're using fabrics and whatnot. So the silver ones are actually going to go on a Christmas version. Or not even Christmas, I should say a winter version. And I'm going to use either antique or the brown for my autumn when it's all said and done. So I'm really stoked to use those. Um, it's something I didn't mention yesterday, I totally forgot about. But that is something that, um, you know, you got to see yesterday and hopefully uh, before officially autumn shows up, this will be done and ready to go. I've got, what, 20 days? I'm good. Um, 19? I don't know. Today's the third? No, second? Oh my gosh, I've already lost, I don't, I've already lost, already lost track of September and it just started. So anyway, today's the second of September. So I have 19 days before fall starts to actually get this completely finished enough to where I feel I can start doing something with it. And that again is, um, if you missed yesterday's film, um, this is an autumn journal that I created with my autumn gathering journal kit, with my autumn word phrases and dictionary sheet, with my autumn butterflies, um, I and then I have an autumn gathering extra extra add-on little mini kit because I felt we needed more. So anyway, this is like three or four, five different little downloads on my Etsy shop that I was able to create this with, and of course, whatever supplies I had around the house. So... Go look at my video for more information, but this was this has been a lot of fun to create, um, but it does kick off our holiday f season with autumn, a little bit of Halloween. There's not Thanksgiving in there yet, but I won't be surprised. Uh, there's a couple kits out there um, that had kits out there with um, um, recipe cards and whatnot. So I got to go look those up again and figure out. I may add a few pieces. Some, I have a couple other really great ladies out there who are awesome at what they do. And I may have to download a couple extra kits and maybe fluff this up just a little bit more with our favorite with our favorite fall recipes. Wouldn't that be a fun addition? Hmm, so I'll have to keep that in mind. I also wanted to reintroduce to you guys, um, for the winter enthusiasts out there, that maybe not be too hit big into Christmas or the red and green, like myself. Um, I'm not a huge red and green Christmas person. I do love it. I have antique angels. Um, I think I do go antique but a little woodsy on it. I keep it very neutral. Um, I'm not big on the big red, white, and green brightness. I did when I was little with the kids because it was easy and it was they were all unbreakables, but as we're getting older... Um, I go very uh, light, neutral, woodsy with the reds and greens, um, and half my house is blue and snowmen. My kitchen lends to gorgeous blues, and so my kitchen dining area is actually snowmen and blue. So I made a snowy winter kit back in um, July, before the 4th of July big sales. I came out with a couple winter Christmas kits, and this is one of them. And this is my next signature that I'm going to work on once this is done. Um, I'm gonna put together a December, my version of December daily, I guess. Um, I'm not gonna do everything in it every single day, but I want to put a single signature together because this was three signatures. Um, a single signature of about 10 to 15 pages. Um, and I want to sort of document our winter. is definitely uh, a little more condensed and ready to go. So these pages are all sitting in my snowy winter kit in my Etsy shop on a jewel design. A-J-E-W-E-L-D-D-E-S-I-N, no, I-G-N. But it'll be in the link, so no worries, remember that. Um, but this will be a great first page, um, whether it's this book belongs to, um, a favorite winter quote, um, something. You know, I think it's going to be a great first page to, this, to the signature, um, and it has just a, just snow and snowflakes and 
they're vectored, their background, their uh, old um, papers that you know scanned and tweaked, layered up. It's a lot of snowflakes. Um, more of a journaling page. So again, if you fold and have either inward as a story or outward on each side, again some more of your favorites. Great place to put pictures when you're folding it, um, outside or inside. You can make a great place to put little snapshots and photos. Um, another journaling page. I really felt you should have room to write. Uh, put scraps on. Have fun with it. Old barns and snow. And that we get a lot of snow in California. This is definitely a wishing for, for snow type kit. But whether we get it or not, it's what I want. And um, oh, that's upside down. There we go. And again, you know, these are all great to cut and to fold in half. Uh, front and back. A lot of these pages can be printed behind it. These were all done individually. I may glue them back to back um, or find a single page that I really like that I feel is very neutral and reprint them on the back of each one of these so that there's never really a white page showing. Um, so with that of course came um, all the add-ons and these are sort of a little bit of a mess because these are probably my mock-ups before I ever put it out on there. But there are pockets, there are tags, there are journal cards, um, washi tapes to border things, belly bands to when you're creating pages you have tucks. Um, that is actually a sticker, I think. Yeah, that's part of my sticker kit. Um, there is a wishing for snow, wishing for a snowy Christmas um, sticker pack uh, to go in your... Um, Happy planners, or to cut out and use in other ways to decorate this. Um, it is a two, four, four page um, kit, I believe. There's two, four, because I already used some of mine. So they, they're, they're two up on a page so that they can print on a five and a half by eight and a half sheet that's perforated in the middle. So it's still an eight and a half by 11 when you're done, or you can put it on a full sticker sheet. And it's wishing for a snowy Christmas a planner kit that goes beautifully with the snowy winter journal kit and as you can just quickly see I've used some of it already but um, when I was playing with a journal spread for Christmas in July I wanted to show off what it could do so um, you know it has the ability to go in a dashboard it can go in classic really depends on how you want to do it these work beautifully in a classic vertical um, these will work good in both a mini and a standard dashboard they're just really universal. And so it's, I think it's just two PDFs, uh, four sheets, I believe. Unless I used them all. I don't know. I'm like, I'm starting to wonder. I'm like, mm, maybe it's, it's yeah, two to three PDF sheets um, of the planner stickers. And so um, they, you know, work well with so many pieces in this kit. Um, there's a lot of, of coins. There are tags. There are mini journal cards. Um, a lot of little stuff. Um, I figured you would be putting a lot of journaling in it of your own nature, so why fill it up with stuff? Um, that was just a, this is a fussy cut, so you would cut really close, layer it on with something, scraps. I mean, it just goes right. That's another sticker piece. Oh, okay, so there, yeah, there's probably quite a few pages. And um, there's also um, a snowy word document um, that has either a really skinny blue wording, see so if you can see this. Um, that have a bunch of word sayings, um, and so it's not so much just a single word. Um, I think a lot of them are like happy winter, snowy day, tw twinkling lights, um, believe, baby it's cold outside, so it's a few big ones I printed. I don't think I put those in the kit because they were, were really big, they are more for me. Uh, peer, so some single words, some, and some, um, you know, two word sayings. Warm hugs, uh, just chilling, crystal clear hot cocoa uh, but you have them in this in, in a decent size beigey color with that and you have them also um, in a pretty blue with snowflake background so there's a word sheet out there there are planner stickers out there there's a journal kit that has all kinds of wonderful little pieces to play with including so it just keeps going including this cute little envelope uh, pocket that you can either glue down or you can use to, of course, hold all these wonderful pieces. And oh my gosh, it just keeps going. So yeah, see, there's a lot of words in that word sheet um, that's available. But I had a lot of little fussy cutouts so that you could, you know, decorate up. Um, I think you have a couple of these discs. These were from another kit that I had um, created for my own personal use when I was doing a lot of junk journaling, or a lot of happy planner stuff. 
And so there's a few of these to enjoy in the kit. So lots going on on that uh, snowy winter thing. It did lead to a lot of wonderful things. So there's the snowy winter journal set to make your own December daily, maybe wintry, uh, wintry December daily. There is the snowy word sheet. They have all your favorite words to decorate all of your junk journal pages up with, or of course on your happy planners. And then there is a wishing for a snowy Christmas because here in California, we wish a lot for that. Um, yeah, wishing for a snowy Christmas planner sticker sheets. So you have three things to go for, just like I have about four different things for the autumn. There is plenty to go around. And my goal is, like I did the fabric on this one, um, I'm hoping to use one of my favorite fleece um, fabrics for the front of this cover. So I'm going to find a nice piece of um, um, you know thin cardboard, glue it down, really make it nice and stout, and then just put that this single, lovely single signature in it and get my winter on. So that is next on that list. So that is, I'm looking forward to. Now, the biggest thing besides autumn and summer, or summer, ha, see, I'm already backtracking. No, 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 no. Autumn and winter is my newest kit. And that kit is a Christmas kit. I did one in July, um, along with the snowy winter. That was a like, Christmas card type ordeal. I had scrapped together really pretty um, junk journal cards. And... Um, took photos of them and used them as a setting point to the next um, kit. Thought, well, maybe if someone wanted it, they could have their own cards because I couldn't make a bunch of these. There's just no way I could make a bunch of them. So I made one, photographed it, and turned around and gave you the ability to make all the elements that you need to make your own. And it went okay. Some people liked them, some didn't. Most people like to be able to make them themselves. But these doors, these red doors, I have two of them, were a huge hit. That's, if nothing else, that's all I heard was, those red doors are so pretty. Those red doors are so cool. Okay, let me get back in here. And it made me think, as I was reworking into fall and, and debating on how to use my winter kit uh, this season, could I make another kit? Could I actually make a Christmas kit? Now, I'm not big on huge, I mean, I love Christmas, like I said. But red and green, um, I really struggle with. It's not my favorite, but these doors were just so eye-catching and they did help boost what I was trying to do with these guys. It was sort of my common course. So I decided, okay, well, how can I make a red, green, slightly slightly retro, slightly crisp, slightly um, vintage kit that was more my style, and but wasn't Santa, wasn't candy canes, wasn't whatever. And so literally one morning last week, the red door started something, and I thought, what about a, Christ a Christmas kit called Christmas at Your Door? And so it's about the front door and how we decorate it. It's about what we put on it, what's surrounding it. This is Christmas in New England. Isn't that great? A winter in New England uh, picture. Uh, poinsettias, hollies, um, all those things that show up at our door, right? It, the door is the entrance to our... Um, our family, an entrance into our home, it's into our lifestyle, it's into our decorating uh, favorites. It's how we decorate, it's how we show each other, show our, show each other who we are and what we're doing. Um, you know, what comes to the door, you know, Christmas trees go through the door, uh, poinsettias and hollies are at the door, postcards come through the door, right? So it's Christmas at your door kit that is literally out today here on Wednesday, the 2nd of September in my Etsy shop. And I'm extremely happy with it. Um, it came out super good, um, at least in my opinion. I mean, I'm in love with it, and I'm really hoping you guys will love it too. So I thought I'd give you guys a quick preview since you're watching, and um, hope you will go look it over. So one of the two sheets that you will get in the kit is a front and back um, of an old antique book that I altered a little bit so that it was just a very clean front, and then of course made it look like as if I had put lace and a washi band or another uh, ribbon on it. Because I don't have these things, I have to sort of do it the old, let's see which way, this way, the old fashioned way. Um, I have to do it the fake way, I guess. So with it though, also came a gorgeous picture on the inside. And I have a light and a dark, so you have your front of your book and you have the back of your book. You may decide you wanna flip those around when you print them. Um, but I thought it was just a great, with a little bit more distressing around it. It looked like the inside of an old book when they used to have more of a, a wallpapery pattern. 
And it's fitting, though, for me being in California. This is a California poinsettia um, artwork. And in this one, I actually have some. I actually added some stuff to it. So it's definitely been altered a little bit so it fits what I need. But it just made for the best, like, vintage inside cover of a book. So when you print this kit, it's the last two pages, and you want to make sure these print definitely back to back um, on the short side when they flip. And you have this pre-made cover. Put it on your thickest cardstock you have. And it'll make you that cover that I keep making with fabric to put in a nice, simple signature. Sew it in the three spots. Maybe have some tassel stuff on the end of it. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some goodies on the end. Hopefully it's not too much weight. And make a really cute little Christmas signature book. Um, and it's not Christmas like presents or Christmas like um, Santa's and candy canes. It's just a little bit more down to earth decor. And so I created these wonderful pages of definitely poinsettias, definitely holly, wood, a little bit of um, whitewash, letters from Santa. It's a really old letter. Um, the, the, the year never stuck, but it just says December 25th, Sunday, and it says, Dear Mama. And it's a letter from a boy to his mom about what maybe he wanted for Christmas. And it's like 19, 1901 or 1911. It's a really old, old letter that I used in the background. Now, for each one of these pages, if you do print it from beginning to end, if you print them from back to back, for every decorative page you get, there's also a simplified version, which is great. And um, some of these, these pages will be great. You can put it on, back on, uh, on the back of each one of them so that you don't have to worry about um, having a white page by accident. Um, but like I said, these pages do lend themselves to being back to back. Um, I did still use uh, a little bit of my cards and, the, again, the doors in the pages to give you something to play with, um, whether you like that idea of a, of a card, which comes in the mail, right? You get Christmas cards in the mail. And you put it on, you know, it fell to the floor by accident, you know? I don't know. Um, you have the texture, you know, of uh, to keep a background, which is really great to add more elements and junk journals to it. The backside would then would have the, the secondary favorite Reddit door with a little bit of fun. Uh, these are dictionary um, images that I created. There is a Christmas um, at your door word label two page PDF that's also available. And they have a page of like 14 different definitions of Christmas or the holiday season. And they're both in this sort of creamy uh, red and in a uh, creamy green. So you have both green and red definitions that you'll get to use. And then there's a whole sheet of words, which I do not have printed out yet, um, that are all the same, a lot of the same words, new words, merry, chill, not chill, I'm so sorry, merry, uh, silent, holly, jolly, season, believe, of course the word Christmas, um, I don't know, the words go on. I had a pretty good chunk of them and they're in different different directions, different colors. So it was a lot of fun to do that. So besides the Christmas at your door journal kit, there is a Christmas, there will be a Christmas um, word sheet and dictionary um, phrase set that you can also purchase to embellish your pages. So those could easily go back to back or you can print any one of these, um, you know, any one of the other simpler pages on the back of these if you wanted them separate and you didn't want to comp have them compete anywhere within the page. This one would be on the back side of the book. This would be on the front or closer to the front of the book, which also helps level it out. Again, I said postcards, right? So I wanted to make sure I had every type of holly at my fingertip uh, from leaves to, to the to the actual uh, flower. That's all an arts, arty um, rendition, so it's not actually live photos. And a bunch of different postcards and tags and, and letters and things that you would get um, coming through your door. You know, for friends and family, these are all sort of around Christmas time, um, which is awesome. And they're really old cards. You know, they say they see POC Christmas, you know. Um, they let you know that they were from around that time. And this is a great little London tag that says, you know, New Year gift or a Christmas present. It's a cool, I like the tag. I think it's a really cool tag for a, a gift, actually. So um, this was a fun page of just sort of collage without being too overly busy. Again, I lightened it up. You could print it on the back side so it had a thing. And this one was cool because when I lightened it, the letter actually sort of popped through. And I liked the effect. I think I thought it was sort of a cool effect um, that just haphazardly happened. 
And then one of my favorite pages is a sort of a catch-22. It is a red door. It is a windowed door. And it was just the prettiest of colors. Um, it was old. It was grungy. It was peeling. It was just, it had age to it. It had character. It had stories behind it. And so I just was like, well, red and green, right? Let's get the holly on there. Let's get the berries on there. Let's even shadow the holly behind the glass. Um, this rendition of this of this door is used also in cards and tags. I mean, it has a little hand on it, and it looks like the little kid is is pressing on the door like he can't wait for Christmas. He can't wait for someone to show up, or maybe he's hoping to wave to somebody, especially during times of COVID, where you're like you can't can't reach each other, you can't touch each other. Um, but in this case, I wanted just the more the hollies, and it's one of my favorites, and it will be the middle of my signature for sure. It will be that that focal point in the middle of my signature that is just a pop of dark color. Um, and it, I, of course, put it out there as a lighter version. It gets a little orangey when you go light, but I think that's okay. Um, so you can put it in the back so that you could, as this is the middle of it, um, you know, you could have something on the, you know, facing it. You could do just about anything on the other side and give it a good contrast and definitely a story to tell. I think it's a great story, a story um, catcher and starting a new conversation. So these were pages that I absolutely adored, had a lot of fun making. I'm really hoping you'll enjoy them. Like I said, they're out today for the first time uh, for a day or so. And then the four, uh, July, not July, sorry, Labor Day sale in my Etsy shop does start on the 3rd. And it's 10% off everything in my store. So including my newest kit, I thought I might as well. My Christmas and winter went out during 4th of July. So why wouldn't my Christmas come out at Labor Day? <laughs> Keep it going, right? So these were a lot of fun. I've got the winter, I've got the fall, I've got the Christmas at your door. Um, all out on Etsy and they are ready for your enjoyment. They're ready for your creativity. They are ready for your um, ideas and your possibilities and the endless array of ideas that can come with this. And each one of these have word sheets to go with them. Um, the snowy one has sticker planner um, sheets. The autumn one doesn't have an, will have um, a sticker sheet for it, but it'll be out two weeks before fall. So that one did not make it yet into the, this week's um, Labor Day sale, but you never know. I might get a bug. I might be able to throw that together. And maybe before the holiday sale ends, there might be even a fall uh, planner sticker set out there for you to enjoy. And so I'm really looking forward to doing that first week of September's fall spread and my planner since I live by my planners. So I really appreciate you checking in. I really appreciate you watching. Um, as I said yesterday, this will be, this is the second video um, that I've put out. I hope to get maybe one more to get you caught up on some of the things that I've created. There's a few more new things in my Etsy shop that I want to make you aware of. Um, a 50 Shades of Purple kit. Um, there might be some more planner stickers I didn't get to mention to you, but I will look back and see where I left off. And I will let you know where I'm at and maybe a couple sneak peeks of what is to come because there's a lot of things coming up um, that I have on the back burner, front burner, desktop burner, you mean? No. Anyway, no more rambling. Thank you for watching. I really hope this gives you a good jump start to your season and may every day be a creative moment.